Hey developers, this is third tutorial on content page. Let's discuss about content page in this tutorial. Let's start. Now let us create a cross platform shared project by going to file new project and then click on cross platform and give it a name as button image as we are representing button image inside a content page. After creating our project, we need to first go to our project. Here we will be specifically talking about root project that is our button image project, not other projects that are basically targeting specific operating system like Android, iOS. In Xamarin Forms cross platform, whatever you code goes to the root project because it applies to all the projects. Now let us open our main project that is button image project then we will see two files they are app.jml and main page. In app.jml part we have two class actually they are jml part and .cs part. Talking about jml and cs part, jml are generally used for a designing purposes whereas .cs part are used for implementation of logics. This app.xaml.cs part is very much important for our project as we are evaluating our app to start from this position. In this line of statement, main page is equal to new button image dot main page. It implements that main page is a page holder which contains the page to be loaded. Now let us update this line of code as main page is equal to new main page parenthesis so that we can remove our complications the page that is going to load is outside main page that is outside this main page i'm going to load this outside main page into the main page content holder now we will put button images inside our loading page that is main page by default jamrin creates any page the page is always a content page which may contain a simple label telling that welcome to Xamarin forms centered as vertical as well as horizontal. I'll comment it out by pressing Ctrl K and C. Now let us put stack layout view. As stack layout view is one of the view which is most commonly being used. That means we can stack the items. Let's put to center and give a spacing of 50. As it needs divisions okay here I am taking the main stack layout which will contain one button and inside that main stack layout there will be another stack layout which will contain two buttons arranged in same horizontal position and here the page is of content page type as we already discussed content page may contain many layouts as is the second layer and we are here using as stack layout which may contain images, labels, buttons inside it. Now I'm placing a button inside the stack layout. This can be live updated with the help of Xamarin form previewer. It can be got from view other windows and then select Xamarin form previewer. Now I'm placing another stack layout inside the main stack layout which contains two buttons which are left and right. And we are giving this to the first left button as background color image Indian red, a border is 22 and black color, and second button as right border color as Indian red, as well as border radius is 22, text color is equals to black. And this button image property is of type file image source, so any image that is local can be used in bottom. This means that following code that is some button dot image will uh, use the PNG property now left and right button are placed inside the stack layout second whereas the am camera button is placed inside the stack layout one and whole this stack are placed inside the content page now let us import icons for our buttons icons can be downloaded from the link let us open our browser i'll give that link in the description below more than 4000 icons are there having material property Select any of the icon, select this, and then we can download the PNGs. And the important thing is that the iOS image are from the Holo Live directory, which means black images on the transparent background, whereas Android images are from Holo Dark directory, which means that white images on the transparent background. Now 
select anything and then download the PNGs as Visual Studio uses the PNG format and show in folder then extract it I'll just extract it now it's time to use our PNG folders inside our Visual Studio resources folder click apply to all items and click on S click on S and again for iOS project we are going to use iOS folder that is going back for iOS select iOS and click on open and we have to select all the PNGs and paste inside the resources folder click on S as item as we have used three buttons now we are going to copy and paste all the images that are required for our buttons back to property go to back again paste click on S item S and then again for iOS go back and then iOS copy copy all the PNGs again go to resources of uh, iOS project and click on apply to all items click on S now it's all done let's like view it then it's time to place property to a button by placing stack layout resources inside the main stack layout the button image property is of type file image source so any image that is local can be used in buttons this means the following code will work throughout the iOS as well as Android project and then placing that uh, resource directory inside the stack layout resources now start our application it's debugging compiling okay ready to update okay we got as expected output now let's close this stop this debugging session and then for iOS project Xamarin Live Player will pop out click on Live Player uh, I will pair it okay pair you have to get output okay we got it thanks developers Thanks for watching.